Hey Ray Lovers, Harry right, Mush, how's it going? Armour Pants here, got another video for you tonight. Firstly, salutations from me, 07, and as always, I'd like to draw your attention to that beautiful aeroplane. Spectacular, isn't it? Yeah, lovely. Wouldn't mind going up on that. Uh, before I get into today, I will have a review of the K91. Uh, I'd like to draw your attention to World Tank Blitz assets that I like. I start to use blitzhanger.com. It's brilliant for tank a person, giving you summaries of updates, etc. And Blitz Stars, which is great for individual stats as well as tank stuff. And here's my own uh, military history page in Poland's notebook. Check it out if you like military history. Uh, you'll find it fascinating. Um, yeah, I'm a bit of a military historian myself, so yeah, check it out. You uh, might enjoy it. Let's check out the old tech nerdy stuff first. By the way, before I get onto this, um, you know, and just to give you my view on the K91, he told you my feelings on the fucking crates and on all that, because right? it's a load of bollocks, right? Um, so anyway, here I want to tell you a story, right? When I was when we was younger, right, and um, when the PlayStation came out, uh, one of my mates got it, right, and um, his younger brother wanted one too, but instead he got a bicycle. He wasn't too happy about that. Um, so, especially because rains at Christmas, so he wasn't even able to go out on the rain. So what he did was, right, get up uh, really early, carefully unwrapped his brother's PlayStation, shit in the box, put the lid back on it, rewrapped it. Now, left it sitting there for a few hours, went back to bed. Now, can you imagine when his brother woke up next morning, right, he was so excited to get PlayStation, it was the first Christmas it was out, right, opens up the box, well, obviously he's happy with the PlayStation, not too happy with the shit looking at the back of him. So... That's kind of what I feel like about this tank, you know, kind of very disappointed and somewhat disgusted, but also kind of, you know, you know, I guess it's good to have another tank, right? So, yeah, so there's a lot of anticipation of that, but at the end it's just very disappointing, isn't it? So, there you go. So, this k one is like shit in a new PlayStation box, or I guess to put it in a modern context, like uh, Xbox, uh, Xbox One or something like that, you know, somebody took a shit in it. Um, so, there you go. So, um, yeah, by the way, he was able to clean it up and use it, so I think he, think he went on to become very good at Grand Theft Auto, so there you go, happy end to that story. So we're just looking at the stats here in this tank, by the way, this is Blitz Hanger, by the way, I'm using it for this, I thought I just showed it to you, it is a brilliant tool. You can see we're looking through the stats here, and um, it allows you to play around with the modifications, uh, play around with the uh, different equipment types and all of that, so you can see how it affects the tank's performance, and uh, then, then suit that to your gameplay. So you can fill around with yourself, which I'd recommend. Uh, here we're just looking at the armor. So yellow is not particularly good. So red is good. So if somebody wants to shoot you right in the snuzzle, it's probably not going to go through. But anywhere else, you can see you are going to be absorbing uh, shells, like a tampon, absorbs fanny juice. So yeah, for God use really. Um, so best all it's telling us is that you know you can angle up a bit, but really. You know, um, if you're at pretty acute angles, you're gonna be, you're gonna, you're just gonna soak up your shells, right? And I've played it a few times myself. I can tell you that's true. Um, if you look at it from the back, fuck, everything's gonna go through it, just everything. I mean, it's like Tim Robbins' ass in the Shawshank Redemption. It's just getting gonna get penetrated every fucking day, every time. With or without a bucket. So there you go. So yeah, there you go. Arsenal like Tim Robbins in Shawshank Redemption. If you look here, you can see the sides and back, it's fucking useless. Uh, on the front you can't go hold down, but then those two little flappy things at the side make it vulnerable, so even going hold down is difficult. So the armor performance is not particularly good, particularly for a tier 9 heavy. It has more like medium tank. Um, so, you know, this is a particularly useful tool on a uh, blitz hanger, which I like. Um, it recommends tactics for you. Uh, but if you look at the K21 here, Basically, nothing is recommended. Holy fuck! Tells you everything you need to know about the tank, really, doesn't it? Um, so it's so that would tell you that it's not particularly good tank, right? If you look at the, um, I mean, it's particularly not a premium tank. I don't see what's premium about it. I mean, um, or is it enriched? I don't know. There's a bit of an argument about that on Facebook. But either way, it has little gold thing attached to it, right? So it's a collector's tank. Um, so. I mean, this I would, I would, I would um, load it out like this because you think for a premium, t uh, for a heavy tank tier nine, uh, brawling and um, circle of death and all that is not your forte, right? So I'd load it out like this. All right, so let's roll. Uh, so by the way, this is not me in this game. This is me, mate Salman, uh, from Bihar province in India. Shout out to all the Indian subscribers there. Cheers, lads! We know there's loads of um, subscribers that is not Indians. Obviously, there's a lot of Indians as well. 
fifteenth, second most populous people on the planet after Chinese, aren't you? So there you go. So yeah. So um so shout out to all these, there you go. Cheers cheers lads. Oh what the fuck was that? Because he's gonna disappear of his own arsehole there, didn't he? Fair place to him. Maybe that's where he's good, that's sort of inside out tank trick, see that? Um so anyway, this is Salomon, um, running a different account there, uh, Heir to the Ghost account, uh, not his normal back account, which he plays, he plays in lots of different accounts. Um, and here he is, by the way, you've noticed when we were going through the um, statue, would have seen it has 7 degrees of gun depression, and here he is using that to full effect. So we got a full full roll there, and the three, three rounds in the drum, lit up the Tiger 2, and fucked up his shit completely, and then the rim finished him off. Um, here he's nice patient, letting the guy come, bobbing a wheel and he tracks him and reflects him. Guy's fucked, he's flicking switches, dropping bitches, and then saying so to you too, my friend. And he's uh, looking for his next victim. Come out, come out wherever you are. Now, unfortunately for his next victim, actually, I think it turns out to be a sent one, and unfortunately for him, that is uh, Salomon's favourite tank. So, um, that doesn't bode well for him because when you're up against a salmon lad, you need every advantage you can. Um, probably you need a big stick or a sword or something to be honest. Um, he's that good. But if you're coming up against him in what is his favourite tank, well, you're doubly fucked, aren't you? You're literally doubly fucked. Um, you know, it's like going to confession in the Catholic Church, isn't it? Getting a penance and probably dig up your arse. So there you go. So the old scent lad, here he comes. Uh, bad move, my friend. Bad move. So you see Salmon here, and uh, he's using the old gun depression again. This gun depression, this tank is great. He bounces there. Um, his frontal armor bounces there. You know, he angle it, he angle it up well. If you remember from the uh, from the tech review that we did, you saw that if you did angle, if you angled up correctly, you can get some nice, um, some nice thick um, armor profiles on it. But um, it is difficult. But using the gun depression, using the hill there, he did it very well. So he kind of made Sue's boil look like um, Heidi Klum doing that there, you know. So he made a he made a seal purse out of a pig's ear, as they used to say when I was growing up. I never quite understood that who was cutting off all these pig's ears to make purses. But anyway, there you go. Oh, now this little fella. Sorry about you, my friend. Um, it's not going to end well for you, my friend. Yeah, because the old salmon lad, he is flicking switches, dropping bitches here today. And uh, yeah, look, he's down there. Yeah, but he angled up well, probably weaving. And uh, I think this, oh, ooh, it's the valley of the death road to 5,000. Holy fuck. That's the last thing you want to do is go in between those two things. That's like sticking your head in between but Dolly Parton's breasts, isn't it? You can die of uh, asphyxiation. Or in this case, when your air's blown off, but you know, same result. But there, oh, there you go. And uh, that was a nice bit of head, that's the best head I've seen given all day. So there you go, that was the old Salmon lad there. Fair place to him. Mastery badge of the LK91 showing us how it's done. Um, moving around the armor to get the, the, the bouncing profile and using the gun depression. And that was some sweet ass thinking, wasn't it? It certainly was Salmon, first place, you watched first place, that was brilliant. Um, with the ass is getting a lot closer now, isn't it? Fantastic. Um, so there you go, so I hope you enjoyed it, that's a review of K91, as I said, it's like um, shit in your new uh, console box, you know, but clean it off, play with it, Bob's your uncle. Alright, cheers now, hope you enjoyed it, take it easy now, see you boys, boys.